and welcome back to Death Battle Prediction. Although, I don't really know why I'm doing these Death Battle Predictions this season, because quite frankly, I have been sucking on the predictions. I just finished watching the Leonardo vs. Um, uh, Jason, the Red Ranger one. Again, I won't spoil it, it just came out today. But, I didn't guess it right. So, yeah, I am, um, now that I say it out loud, what is my record on this so far this year like? Not good, I don't know that. I think I may have gotten one right so far. Maybe? Um, yeah, give me a second to check that real quick. I, I'm curious that I'm, I'm at myself. How badly have I been uh, guessing these right now? Okay, so Death Battle Predictions. Uh, just getting my playlist up. Easiest to check. By the way, there will not be a reaction to this one. I'm kind of... Right now, I need new headphones. That way I can avoid any sort of copyright issues. But also, I've kind of been... the uh, just by a little, like, eh, not worth, not a battle worth actually, uh, you know, doing a reaction for. Though, in this next one, I might do a reaction for if I get around the, uh, the time to do so. But yeah, I didn't get, uh, Static versus Miles, right? I didn't get Sindel versus Black Canary, right? And I didn't get J Red Ranger ver Jason versus Leonardo, right? I'm three for three in terms of sucking. But look, 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 let's, let's be fair here. I could, I could bring it back around. I could still get the majority of them, right? It's entirely possible. Um, but anyway, Genos from One Nudge Man versus War Machine. So, the problem here, I find, is that if we're talking about the sheer amount of firepower we see these guys dish out, like, between, uh, Genos and War Machine, I think Genos has the sheer amount of firepower on his side. Plus, he's an actual cyborg, therefore his body moves m at a much higher speed and velocity than someone like War Machine's does. On the other hand, War Machine, being from the Marvel Universe, has fought individuals Far superior to anyone Genos has fought. Sans Saitama, but Saitama's the X Factor. And didn't really fight Saitama. It was trying to show off his strength. And Saitama's like, no, I'm Saitama. Um, and then just kind of taps is like, oh, right, let's get something neat. So and War Machine's armor can certainly take a beating. Like it's taking beatings from individuals probably far stronger than Genos. But the question is that who's going to ultimately, uh, you know, take the more, who's going to be able to dish out more damage and who takes the most amount of damage? Who can soak up the most damage? Who can dish out the most damage between two of these guys? If we're talking about the most amount of damage that they can deal, I'm going to say it's Genos. But in terms of the most amount of damage that they can take, we see Genos gotten getting the crap kicked out of him and been just been ripped apart more times than we can count so uh, i'd say war machine has the durability advantage war machine's got plenty of weaponry too let's be he's got his repulsor blasts he's got plenty of firearms rockets but quite frankly just can survive a lot of that it's when it comes to that real heavy duty shit that uh especially when he goes against superhuman individuals who can just rip him apart that just seems to struggle uh, and again, it's not to say that War Machine is lacking on strength to do that. His suit augments his strength so he can easily go into similar uh, strength ranges like Iron Man can, which is the like around 100 tons or more. So I might argue War Machine for that. Plus, War Machine, Rhodey is a, uh, is a military man, so he's got military experience. Whereas, I'll be flat out honest, I don't know Genesis' backstory. Now, granted, Genesis is a pro, well, pro. Uh, I'm thinking uh, my hero terms at the moment. Genos is a um, is a uh, hero for a hero for hire. So he is a, a guy who gets in the street a lot and does fight on a regular basis. But he's someone who also heavily relies on his cybernetics because that's pretty much he's a cyborg. So or is he an android? I think he's a cyborg, isn't he? Because we really don't see a lot of human parts on him. I mean, his face is clear, but when you break it, we've seen his face kind of ripped apart and seen, like, Cybernex under that as well. So is he a cyborg or is he an android? Let me get that up, actually. I'm actually curious on that now. Is Genos a cyborg or an android? Genos. Let's see what you got here, Genos. Let's see what... Or, uh, let's see what you got here, Jenny. Uh, so, Genos. One Punch Man. <laughs> Brings up Genos Pizza with that. Okay. Genos. One Punch Man. Let's try that. All right, there we go. Uh, so let's see here. Genos, are you a cyborg or an android? Let's find that out. Uh, he is a 19-year-old... Okay, he's a cyborg. He, okay, so he is human. Um, uh, and his full appearance has changed drastically from what we've initially seen. 
Uh, and seeing as I got this up now, might as well look at his ability. He's an S class hero and undoubtedly S class hero. He's undoubtedly powerful for someone his age. Still significant battle experience. He claims to defeat countless evil entities and organizations before meeting Saitama. His youth and impulsiveness still overcome him on occasion, which something Rhodey wouldn't have. He's man well into his 30s or 40s, depending on how you look in the comics, maybe in the 50s. So, and he's died several times. Despite his impressive growth, he's unable to face against dragon level threats, which are like, you know, world ending threats. However, after his fight with Sonic, Giannis has become more open to using tricks to gain the upper hand. Will fight, willing to fight dirty. Uh, immense physical strength. Um, nothing that really would be able to beat. Uh, uh, War Machine Sue gives him an edge in that. Immense speed and reflexes. I think speed wise, <clears throat> uh, in terms of at least traveling speed, War Machine is the faster. But I think it's combat speed. Genos actually has the advantage there. Endurance. Well, he's a cyborg, so that's not the same as durability. Cyborg modifications. Full, uh, full body cyborg enhancements. The entire body has been replaced with combat ready cyber enhancements, uh, which makes having a relationship very difficult, I imagine. Uh, j ability to taste mates, uh, so cybernetic body turns into organic intake and into biofuel, so we need the power of core. So basically, he still has to eat, but it turns actually fuels the cybernetics, which is interesting. Armor relates to parts, cyborg leg, incineration cans, which are like his main. Uh, that was the main thing. Detachable body parts, replace team, arm blades, boosters, arm can, uh, arms for choirs. What? But not about he can change his arms into especially dedicated house ch Oh, chores. Sorry, chores. I thought I said choirs. Like, what? anti saitama tactical arms. <laughs> there are a special set of re replacement arms, uh, as replacement genesis used during the National Superhero Registry, uh, arc where when him and Saito spar the quarry, these arms are differentiated from normal arms, being black, having much larger shoulders. Didn't matter much. Uh, G4 upgrade. He's got a lot. Of, he does. He is a. Um, he does have a lot of fighting experience. Style. Just one of the most proficient fighters in the series. Uh, and of course, you got to also talk about the giant f off cannon used to try to destroy a meteor, but failed. Let's admit that he failed. Genesis has a lot going for him. But again, talking about pure physical strength and durability, I still give War Machine that edge. Ooh, so ultimately, who am I taking in this fight? This is a, see, this is one that it could I think could go either way. This could very well go either way. But I think on in terms of pure versatility, fighting capability, and firepower. I think I'm going to lean towards Genos on this one, but I could be dead wrong on that one, and if I am, so be it. I've been wrong until verse 3. Uh, it wouldn't be the first time this year. But let me know what you think. You think it's going to be Jenny, or you think it's going to be uh, Rhodey? Let me know in the comments below. But thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. i got a who would win to do, and I'm done for the day. Although, I'm considering maybe doing the q and A. I, 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 we've been putting it off for so long that... Uh, and not even putting it off. We just, it, it's been so long since I announced it that... Um, and we, and we just haven't gotten to it, that I just feel like I should just get it out of the way now, even though Mark won't be with me for it. So I might actually end up doing that later today. But we'll see. Till then, thanks for watching. See you next time, folks. Have